right side. And with the ball in his hands over there for the Dukes. That was Matt Essig. Into the box it goes. Early chance for Duquesne. Still controlling are the Dukes. Colin Phillips leading scorer has it. Drops it off. Shot score Duquesne just like that. Colin Phillips finds a trailer. Neat little touch to Frederick Bornstein. And Bornstein's left foot finds the back of the net. To the left of the Davidson keeper, 1-0 Duquesne early here on Rooney Field. Well, we haven't talked too much about Colin Phillips, but uh, he's been the big story for Duquesne this season. 11 goals uh, in 17 games for Duquesne this season. And, you know, a lot of times defenders will see him with the ball and instantly uh, flock to him. But, you know, he was able to let the ball roll a little bit, lay it right off to Bornstein, who was right there with that left foot. Beautiful finish for him. I don't know if Matt Pacifici, the, the senior box. keeper, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why this won't be a penalty kick either. But it is a very deep set piece for the Dukes. Colin Phillips right next to it. And he's joined by, hmm, okay, where could the number on that one? Might be Walbert. Phillips takes it, bending shot, scores. Colin Phillips directly off the direct kick, beats the diving Pacifici. And maybe that's a bit of po poetic justice if you're Duquesne. The goalie gets the foul, avoids the card, but he's beat diving to his left. Uh, and Duquesne all over the Davidson Wildcats at Rooney Field. Duquesne smelling blood here early. They want into this tournament and they're not waiting around. No, not at all. And that was a great strike by Colin Phillips. Again, there's nothing you could do if you're Pacifici trying to get to that back post. You'll see in this replay here, there's not much of a hesitation there by Colin Phillips right over the wall. Pacifici getting a hand on it, I believe, but right. to Dukes no control, avail. but they turn it over. Here comes Davidson trying to have this lead. Into the box. Touches the box. Turning shot blocked. Second shot. Right foot score. Deflecting off a Duquesne player, perhaps for a goal, but nevertheless, the man with the last foot on the ball for the Wildcats was Alec Rotunda. Rotunda turned, his left foot shot hit a Duquesne player, it came right back to him, and his right foot shot maybe hit a few bodies, but eventually got past Freymeyer and into the cage. So the Davidson Wildcats, just like that, Matt, cut this lead in half. Yeah, there was a little opportunity uh, against Duquesne or something like that, maybe win the ball one last time and sure. turn the tides a little bit. Right foot by Phillips, header, and diving to save it, and now rebound, collected and scored. Duquesne University's Ryan Merrifield. There it is, Matt. He didn't miss that one. So Merrifield with a number of opportunities this half. And the third one he makes good on. Runs over and hugs a few players on the sideline. Very excited was Merrifield. Boy, give Matt Pacifici credit for the uh, first save on that sequence. But then Johnny on the spot was Merrifield to bury the rebound far post. I'm sure we'll get another look at it in a second here. It was a flurry in front of the Davidson cage. So that... 